Hello everyone, this is Shobhadra and today we are here with the glycolysis pathway. In this lecture, we will discuss about the significance, steps, regulation and energetics of the glycolysis pathway. So, glycolysis is the sequence of 10 enzyme catalyzed reaction that converts glucose into pyruvate with the simultaneous production of ATP. All the reaction steps takes place in the cytoplasm, so the cytoplasm is the site of the reaction. Glycolysis is an oxidative process in which one mole of glucose is partially oxidized to two moles of the pyruvate. This unique pathway occurs aerobically as well as anaerobically and does not involve any molecular oxygen. The pathway also includes the formation of lactate from the pyruvate and it is the central pathway for the glucose catabolism. In aerobic organisms, glycolysis is the preliminary pathway of citric acid cycle and ETC chain. The pathway can be divided into three phases. The first is the energy investment or the priming stage. The second is the splitting phase and the third is the energy generation phase. Now coming to the significance of the glycolysis pathway. Glycolysis is the only pathway that taking place in all the cells of the body. It is the only source of energy in the cells which cannot contain mitochondria like erythrocytes, cornea, lens etc. During strenuous exercise when muscle tissue lacks enough oxygen, anaerobic glycolysis forms the major source of the energy for muscle. It provides carbon skeleton for the synthesis of non-essential amino acids and glycerol part of the fat. The reversible step of the glycolysis are also involved in the gluconeogenesis. So all these are the significance of the glycolysis pathway. Now coming to the steps in the glycolysis. So these are the steps, different steps involved in the glycolysis pathway which is divided into three parts. The first is the energy investment phase and these are the steps in the energy investment phase. The second is the splitting phase and this is the step in the energy splitting phase. The third is the energy generation phase and all these steps are involved in the energy generation phase. The pathway involves the 10 steps from 1 to 10. So these are the 10 steps in the pathway and these are the structures of different molecules produced at each step. So one by one we can discuss all the steps involved. In the first step, the glucose is phosphorylated to glucose 6 phosphate. This is the structure glucose is phosphorylated, uh, phosphorylated to glucose 6 phosphate in the presence of enzyme hexokinase. This hexokinase will split the ATP molecule to the ADP molecule, and the free phosphoryl group which is obtained is introduced to this glucose molecule to form the glucose 6 phosphate kinases are the nature's tool for introducing the phosphoryl group into the organic molecule and this kinases reaction is irreversible in nature in the second step this glucose 6 phosphate is isomerized to produce the fructose 6 phosphate by the enzyme phosphohexose isomerase and this is a readily reversible reaction here the structure is also shown glucose 6 phosphate is isomerized to fructose 6 phosphate in the third step this fructose 6 phosphate is further phosphorylated to the fructose 1 6 by phosphate this is the structure in which there is 2 phosphate group. So, fructose 1 6 biphosphate is the form is formed in the presence of the enzyme phosphofructokinase. And, it, and this is the rate limiting step 
of the glycolysis pathway because this is the slowest reaction and here also the ATP is break down to ADP and this is a irreversible reaction. In the next step that is in the fourth step this fructose 1 6 biphosphate which is a 6 carbon compound this is a 6 carbon compound is splitted into two molecules of this is a uh, 3 carbon unit and this is also a 3 carbon unit. So this fructose 1 6 bisphosphate is splitted into uh, 2 molecules of 3 carbon units. This first is the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and the second is the dihydroxy acetone phosphate. And since, since this uh, uh, backward reaction is an aldol condensation so the enzyme which catalyze this reaction is known as aldolase and this reaction is also reversible in the step number five in the step number five this dihydroxy acetone phosphate the structure is here this dihydroxy acetone phosphate is isomerized to the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate by the enzyme phosphotriose isomerase that means at this step glucose is cleaved into two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate here it is written two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and after this step two molecules of all products produced at each step two molecules two molecules two molecules two molecules at each steps from step number five six and onwards two molecules were produced at each step now in step number six in step number six this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is dehydrogenated and simultaneously phosphorylated to produce 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate. In the presence of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase, and this is a reversible step which occurs with the help of NAD. And this produces a high energy bond in the form of NADH which generates 2.5 ATP. So here at this step there is a generation of two molecules of NADH and one molecule of NADH will produce 2.5 ATP. Now in step number 7, in step number 7 the energy of 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate is used to synthesize 1 ATP with the help of the enzyme bisphosphoglycerate kinase and this is an example of substrate level phosphorylation because energy is directly used from a substrate. Now in step number 8 in the presence of Phosphoglyceromutase in step number 8 in the presence of phosphoglyceromutase 3 phosphoglycerate this 3 phosphoglycerate is isomerized to 2 phosphoglycerate here only there is the shifting of the phosphate group from the third position to the second position of the carbon here also uh, and the structures also the this group is shifted from the third position to the second position in the step number nine in the step number nine in the presence of enolase in the presence of enolase 2 phosphoglycerate is converted to the phosphoenol pyruvate and one molecule of water is removed and this is a reversible reaction in step number 10 in step number 10 in the presence of pyruvate kinase this phosphenol pyruvate is 
dephosphorylated to form pyruvate and one mole of atp is generated during this reaction and this reaction is again a substrate level phosphorylation and this step is irreversible in nature so these are the 10 steps involved in the glycolysis pathway but in anaerobic condition this pyruvate in anaerobic condition this pyruvate is reduced to lactate this pyruvate is reduced to lactate by lactate dehydrogenase enzyme in aerobic condition the pyruvate enters to the citric acid cycle for the complete oxidation so these are the steps of glycolysis pathway if the glycolysis uh, is takes place in anaerobic condition then this pyruvate is reduced to lactate now this is the complete structural details of the steps involved in the glycolysis pathway if you want to take a screenshot then you can take now the regulation of the glycolysis pathway in the regulation these four main enzymes are activated and inhibited by different molecules like hexokinase is inhibited by glucose 6 phosphate the glucokinase enzyme is activated by insulin but inhibited by glucagon the phosphofructokinase is activated by insulin and the fructose 2 6 bisphosphate but inhibited by glucagon citrate atp pyruvate kinase is also activated by insulin and inhibited by glucagon and cyclic amp so this is the regulation of glycolysis pathway at different steps now coming to the energetics I will talk about energetics of the glycolysis pathway then at the step of the glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase there is a production of 2 NADH and 1 NADH will produce 2.5 ATP so total there is a production of 5 ATP. In the step of phosphoglycerate kinase when there is a substrate level of phosphorylation there is a production of 2 ATP. In the next step, at the step of the pyruvate kinase, where there is also the substrate level of phosphorylation, we get two ATPs. But two ATP are consumed in the reactions catalyzed by hexokinase and phosphofructokinase in the energy investment phase. So we can subtract two ATPs. So the net ATP synthesis in glycolysis in aerobic condition is 7. So there is a net synthesis of 7 ATP in glycolysis pathway in aerobic condition. But during anaerobic condition when one molecule of glucose is converted to two molecules of lactate then there is a net yield of two molecules of ATP. So this is the energetics and this is all about the glycolysis pathway in which we have discussed about the significance, steps, regulation and energetics. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for your time.